Hello world, welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the reverse engineering challenge, Fresh Java, worth 200 points. Let's get into it. Can you get the flag? Reverse engineer this Java program. So I already have the Java program right here. It looks like it's a class program. So if we try to open this with Visual Studio Code, you'll notice that the file is not displayed in the editor because it is either binary or uses an unsupported text encoding. Do you want to open it anyways? So if we, as you can see, it's just a bunch of unreadable crap, right? That's not good. So how can we go about reading it? Well, all we need to do really is get a Java decompiler and that should unpack our code so that we can actually read it. And I found this one online right here that works pretty well for what we want. Now I do have one on my machine called JADX and it's really good, but for some reason, actually I, I think, yeah, it's an option right here. You can choose from different decompilers to decode. The JADX I have on my machine didn't actually work. So I've just used the default option that it had first selected on this website and it did work when I did this challenge. So we'll go to this and not that, but this, and then where is it? Fresh Java. Here we go. Let's load the class up in there. Upload and decompile. So now it's done. And as you can see, this is way more readable than whatever we had going on before, right? So why don't we go ahead and grab this, all of it. Whoops. Yeah. Control shift end. And that's too much. Oh my goodness. There we go. Copy that. And we'll make a new document and we'll call this keygen me underscore dec i guess or yeah uh, decompile yeah well you know what decompiled there we go and we'll just call it dot class as well just to keep consistency we'll open with visual studio code we'll paste it in and scroll to the top Okay, so in the main function, there's a scanner, enter key. So we could actually run this if we wanted to. Ooh, okay, so it's comparing characters of our input to specific single characters. And it looks like it's actually literally just comparing our input to the flag. Okay, cool, so Pico CTF. So if we were to write this out, let's just grab a, let's just grab a notepad document. Okay. And we'll just copy what we see here in the class file. So geek go CTF, obviously open brace seven zero zero. That's an zero zero L one N G underscore Ray. U1 R3 D underscore seven three eight C A C eight. Uh hopefully I typed that all in properly. So our flag is tooling required in Leap Speed. And that's it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comment section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.